The small signal circuit model is almost complete. Up to this point, our discussion has not taken channel length modulation into account. We've assumed that V sub D, or I sub D, was constant for all values of VDS greater than the overdrive voltage VGS minus VT. In other words, it was constant throughout the saturation region. We know from our discussions of channel, channel length modulation that the current does, in fact, continue to increase as VDS increases. We modeled this with a finite resistance R0 between the drain and the source. So as VDS increases, I sub D increases also. It's not just this constant dependent source G sub M VGS, but it, as it increases, this R0 term then provides a path for the increased current to go. And it then accounts for the fact that VDS increases um, as, ID, as I sub D increases or I sub D increases as VDS increases. This then becomes the small signal equivalent model. To use this model when performing small signal or AC analysis, we use superposition. Here's our circuit with the FET, with the field effect transistor here, the drain resistance, a basic amplifier involving the field effect transistor. We've modeled it showing, or our circuit includes the biasing DC voltages VGS and VDD, and then superimposed in that is the small signal voltage, lowercase VGS. To use the small signal model to do small signal analysis, we deactivate the DC sources and put this model in as follows then. We've got our model, the gate here, uh, our current source coming down here like this, the value G sub M V G S. We've got R0 there. That then constitutes the drain. And then down here, we have the source that in this case is tied to ground. And over here now, having shorted out the VGS voltage, we then have just the small signal voltage here. Now, as we short out the power supply, as we replace this power supply with a short, it brings this point down to ground also. So it brings this side here. We've got the resistor connected to the drain, drain connected to the resistor, but the other side of it is pulled to ground. Thus, in the small signal model, our drain resistor R sub D is then in parallel with this output resistance R0. We can go through now and calculate VDS, which is the output voltage for this configuration. And we have then that VDS, the small signal component of, the, of uh, the, the drain voltage, is equal to then negative G sub M times VGS, but now we've got the resistors in parallel with each other, so it would be times R0 in parallel with R sub D. Including this resistance, R0, places it in parallel with R sub D. It thus has the effect of reducing the, the effective resistance at the drain by this parallel combination. So that now, if we include the channel width modulation term, the gain is slightly smaller than it was when we didn't include it. You'll recall, uh, well, first of all, let's calculate the gain. VDS over VGS calling that the total gain, or the overall gain, then is equal to negative G sub M times R0 in parallel with R sub D. Now you recall that when we calculated the, the uh, overall gain, when we didn't have that in play, it was just negative G sub M times R sub D. So the fact that this resistance is in parallel with R sub D causes the, the overall gain to be reduced by the amount that that resistor reduces the effective drain resistance.